Greetings. I'm Charles. I'm 55 years old. I'm 6'1 when I'm fully assembled and weigh about 230 pounds. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about just basic cleaning, uh, just regular maintenance type cleaning of a wheelchair. Something that would be an ongoing type situation. Um, to begin with, the, uh, depending on the style and uh, you know, configuration of your wheelchair, you may well have a back or seat that's removable and there's probably a pretty good chance that there's a, um, a zipper to cover on the backs or the seat, and, you know, the padded seat, in which case you take those things off and usually be able to throw those in a washing machine or whatever the, um, you know, recommended cleaning method is. Unfortunately at this point mine is so ratty I'm afraid to throw them in a washing machine because they probably just come out to, completely shredded at this point. But, uh, so what I do in lieu of that at this point is I just spray them down periodically with some vinegar and water. Or, you know, it's possible to use any kind of uh, cleaner slash deodorizer type thing to, uh, to help keep those from getting too dirty, too nasty. And the next thing I'm talking about is, as far as regular cleaning is the uh, other parts of the wheelchair. Now, one of the things that I like to use are these ammonia-based uh, sanitary cleaning wipes or disinfecting wipes. And um, I like to use the ammonia as opposed to the bleach uh, for a couple of reasons. And, well, one, this is not as uh, likely to dis color any clothing or any fabric or the carpet or anything else that it might get on. And uh, once I decided I was going to use ammonia, I always buy ammonia because every now and again you get some of these that got lots of liquid in them and sometimes they're kind of dry. So once I empty one out, I just pour what's ever left of the liquid into the next one around and at some point uh, it ends up in one of these things that's a little bit dry and I end up using it. So you definitely don't want to mix any uh, bleach or ammonia. That's actually a deadly chemical combination. So, what I do as far as cleaning, regular, regular routine cleaning for my chair, is I get one of these guys and uh, I want to clean everything that I routinely touch or have a contact with, skin contact with. That would include my seat belts and I go ahead and do the buckles and everything because I'm always holding on to those. I have the arm rests on each side that I hang on to regularly. Got my forearms on on a regular basis. And the other thing that I've got my hands on on a regular basis are these little uh, levers for the brakes. So, the big things that I have my hands on on a regular basis would be the push rims. Now the push rims of course are the smaller kind of the wheel inside the wheel that's what we grab a hold of to uh, you know propel ourselves forward backwards uh, you know going circles whatever. What I do is I just take one of these things and I wrap it around uh, the push rim and just push myself back instead of me trying to bend over with my big fat belly in the way. I just put that on that side. It's gone all the way around. I'll put it in the other hand, wrap it around the other push rim, and just bring myself forward. And I'll clean that up. Now those push rims, they will get really dirty, of course, because you get your hands on them all the time. So you have your hands on them uh, as soon as you get done, uh, you know, you get in and you get out of the shower right after that, before you get in the shower, before you go in the bathroom, after you go out the bathroom. So it's something that I definitely want to clean many times a week, if not more than once a day. So uh, the next thing is the, the actual tires. So usually I will, uh, if this one's still basically usable, the first one, I'll just kind of do like I did with the hand rim, 
the push rim and I will reach back here and kind of wrap that around the, the wheel and push myself back until I've gone all the way around and then once again kind of do the same thing on this side just going forward this time As far as I can tell, this has never done any damage to my wheels. I've been doing it for years and years and years. The only thing that kind of freaked me out early on is I figured there was a pattern in that uh, if I did this, or when I do this right after I've uh, had like the kitchen floor mopped, the tile floor mopped, my wheelchair squeaks for a few minutes, but it's just the tires getting apparently amazingly good traction on uh, clean tires on a very clean floor. So. But it doesn't last too terribly long once everything is completely dry. And in any case, that's how I do uh, routine cleaning on my wheelchair. Kind of keep it safe, clean, sanitary, etc., um, etc. Et Hopefully that was information that you'll be able to use.